Uh, this was Bill with Bill's backyard. A couple of things added to the backyard. I went ahead and grabbed this sherbet berry bulky plant. Dogs are checking it out. And add to my plumeri, a candy heart, to go with my sweet treat right there. So and this is on citation rootstock so we'll see how it does <clears throat> these are on biking rootstock they're really looking good we'll see I'm going to get in the ground the last one I've got to get now is a burgundy plum I think I'm going to go see what it is to help pollinate cross pollinate everything so that's about it. Another 100 degree day. Everything looks like it's surviving. Just out here checking everything out. And still got the new growth going on in the Cherimoya. Looks pretty good. Mango. Out, not flowering, sorry. My other mango looking really good. Figs are looking good. Peter Honey, there's my tiger strength fig. Chapote, it's really leafing out. No, come on. Let's go see how my flax chapote is doing over here. It's been flowering. Mm. Looks pretty good. Flowers are still on there. I just don't know. We'll see. It's kind of a young tree. OG berries. Mm. I love OG berries. These are good. You see, either you like them or you don't. A lot of melon vines growing. Honeydew vines growing. There's the pomegranate tree doing over here. Looks pretty good. Spicy Z's holding up. Trying to cut candy apron. A lot of new growth on here, so looking pretty good. Okay. And the uh, tangerine tree looking good. Looking real good. Flavor Delight, it's holding in there. Out the tree's doing good. Passion fruit vines growing. I keep interweaving these and keep them going there so they keep growing. That's good. Mm. Fill this fence in, give us some privacy here. The whole idea of this passion fruit kind of fill this this fence in here and get us some fruit and privacy logan's doing good he's got fruit guava's doing good all kinds of 
kinds of new growth on the guava. Pineapple's doing good. Well, signing off.